Hello, Kauai. Here's our daily COVID-19 briefing from Team Kauai for Monday, June 22nd. We have eight confirmed cases of COVID-19 on the island, which brings the total of cases to date to 29. All active cases are in isolation and numerous contacts of those cases are in quarantine. The investigation of this outbreak is ongoing by the contact tracing teams of the Kauai District Health Office and additional tests are awaiting results. The return of COVID-19 to the island was expected, but it is concerning and it reinforces our need to be extremely careful in our day-to-day -day interactions to contain the spread. Kauai District Health Officer Dr. Janet Berriman is here to speak more on these recent cases. Mahalo, Mayor. As part of the Department of Health's contact tracing investigation, specimens were collected on all identified close contacts of our cases over the weekend and shipped to Oahu. By tomorrow, we expect to have results of those tests. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the process the Health Department goes through in investigating cases and identifying individuals who've been in contact with those cases. Our contact tracers start by interviewing confirmed cases and their families. Department of Health staff then calls or visits the identified contacts and instructs them in how to quarantine, either at home or in a quarantine facility if that's necessary. Close contacts are also offered testing. Here's the story on quarantine. During quarantine, contacts do not leave their homes or their place of quarantine, and they do not receive visitors. DOH ensures that their needs are met for things like groceries and medications. If they have an emergency or need health care, they're given instructions on how to access those services safely. Department of Health staff check in every day by phone with everyone in quarantine or isolation. These checks are to see how people are doing in terms of their symptoms and to see what other needs they may have and to remind them of the restrictions on their activities while they're in quarantine or isolation. We've heard considerable concern from people who feel they might have been exposed to COVID-19. If you have been identified as a close contact, you will receive a call from the Department of Health and will be offered a test. If you have not been contacted by our teams, that means that you have not been identified as having close contact with any of the confirmed cases. To be clear, casual contact, like passing someone on the street, being at the same park, or being in the same store is not considered an exposure that requires action. That said, if you are seriously concerned, please contact your primary care provider. If you do not have a primary care provider, you can seek care and advice from an urgent care clinic, a community health center, or the Wilcox Respiratory Clinic. And you can call the Wilcox Respiratory Clinic at 245-1504. We will provide more information as it becomes available. In the meantime, let's wear our masks, keep our distance, and protect our community. Mahalo. Thank you, Dr. Behrman. The State Health Department conducted its Community Assessment for Public Health Emergency Response, or CASPER, survey in April to gain information on how Kauai households are managing during the crisis. DOH reviewed the preliminary results after the survey was conducted, but has recently published its final report which shows how seriously this virus has impacted our community. More than half of participating Koi households had at least one person living in their home who has just lost their job as a result of the pandemic. A third were very concerned or somewhat concerned about their ability to pay the following month's rent or mortgage. These concerns will become more serious when state and federal assistance programs ends, such as the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Compensation Program, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, moratoriums on rental evictions, and utility shutoffs. Most Kauai households seem to be weathering the pandemic moderately well, with 60% reporting a low stress level. However, 34% reported a medium level of stress, and 5% reported their stress level as high. Some said they did not know where to seek help if they needed it. The report recommends the health department mental health service providers and the county continue to work together to improve access to culturally appropriate, affordable behavioral health services, including non-traditional approaches such as telehealth visits. The report recommends using CARES Act funds 
for direct assistance programs such as rental assistance, small business loans, child care programs, and behavioral health programs. Our County CARES Act program addresses those issues. The study also suggests that the state consider the development of a temporary workforce program focused on infrastructure and conservation projects. We have been discussing such a program at the county level as well. A third of Koi households have at least one member at high risk of severe disease if infected with COVID-19, which illustrates the need for all of us to take safety precautions. The CASPER survey teams interviewed 189 individuals in 30 census blocks around the island. You can review the Health Department's report on their website, health.hawaii.gov forward slash Kauai, and click on the link that says Kauai COVID-19 CASPER Final Report. Motorists may have noticed that there is no contraflow from the Kapa'a Bypass Road to the Hanamaulu intersection. The State Department of Transportation announced it has suspended the contraflow program until further notice. The suspension is due to a significant reduction in traffic volume, which is down 29%. In the meantime, crews are being deployed in other transportation work. The contraflow program will resume when needed. Please drive with aloha. Because COVID-19 is back on our island, taking the necessary precautions is more important than ever. As we've been doing for the past three months, we offer these final reminders. Stay home as much as possible. Refrain from social gatherings or public outings. If you must interact with people outside of your home, maintain a distance of six feet of separation and wear a mask, if at all possible for you to do so. Remember, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. It's a sign of respect and aloha. Do not leave home if you are sick unless you're seeking medical attention and then only after calling your doctor first. Wash your hands frequently and clean surfaces often. Stay informed and connected during this time of social distancing. We'll continue to post updates on our official County of Kauai Facebook page or on our Kauai Emergency Management Agency page at www.kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. The Centers for Disease Control is also updating its website regularly. For more information, please visit coronavirus.gov. Not everyone has internet access or follows the news, so please help to keep your loved ones informed. Be kind, take care of one another, God bless, and aloha.